Hi friend, if you love customizing your Kindle with full screen screensavers, then you're in for a treat. A few months ago, I showed you a simple, no fuss way to create screensavers for your Kindle that completely fill the screen. No black borders, no jailbreaking, just stunning images. In that video, I also shared 20 free screensavers for you to download and promise that if the video reached 100 likes, I'd release a brand new set of black and white screensavers. Well, the response was amazing and that video has reached over 130 likes. Today, I'm here to fulfill that promise. Not only I will be sharing this new collection of screensavers with you, but I will also provide you with a step-by-step -step process of creating your own screensavers on your Kindle. The method hasn't changed, so feel free to follow along or use it to create your own screensavers. Stick around because these screensavers are completely free and I've made sure they're optimized for Kindle's display. Plus, I will share some tips to make your Kindle even more personalized and organized. Let's get started. To do this, you will need a computer or laptop and a free program called Calibre. Calibre is a really handy tool for anyone who loves their Kindle. It helps you organize your eBooks, edit and manage them, and even create new ones. Step one, prepare your image for the screensaver. First, you will need to prepare the image you want to use as your screensaver. Make sure the image is in JPEG or PNG format and has a resolution of 1200 by 1600 pixels, which is a 3 to 4 ratio. This will ensure it fits perfectly on your Kindle screen. If you're looking for some stunning royalty-free images for your screensaver, consider checking pixabay.com as they have a huge variety of really cool images. Step 2 create an empty EPUB book. Next, we'll create an empty book in Calibre. Assuming you've already installed Calibre, open the application and click on Add Books, then select Add Empty Book, book entry with no formats. For easier organization, I recommend using the same author name for all your screensaver books. I've called mine Screensaver. For the title, enter something that makes sense to you and then hit OK you should see our empty EPUB book added to the list. Before we move on to the next step, if you appreciate the time I spent preparing this guide for you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Your support really means a lot and helps me create more content like this. Back to the steps. Step three, add your image as the cover. Now that we have our empty book, we need to add your image as the cover. Right-click on the book you just created and select Edit Metadata individually in the Change Cover section. Browse for your image and add it as the cover. Once you see the image added on the left, go to Trim Borders and select Trim Borders manually. Click on the Region icon and the prompt will appear with the resolution of our image. You don't have to change anything here. Just hit OK and then hit OK again to close the Trim Prompt window. This step is crucial for ensuring the cover appeals full screen on your Kindle, so don't skip it. You can also now hit OK to close the metadata window as well. Step four, send the book to your Kindle. With your book ready, it's time to send it to your Kindle. Connect your Kindle to your computer and in Calibre, right click on the book and select send to device and send to the main memory. You will see a prompt saying that the book will be converted to Mobi format, which is exactly what we want since Kindle doesn't support EPUBs. Click yes and let the Calibre handle the conversion and transfer in the background. Step five, final check. Once the transfer is complete, disconnect your Kindle and check your Kindle's library. You should see your screensaver books added. To trigger the screensaver, simply open the transfer book and press the Kindle button to turn off your device. Your chosen image should immediately appear as the screensaver. If the screensaver doesn't appear for some reason, you may need to adjust the setting on your Kindle. Tap the three dots in the top right corner, go to Settings, then Screen and Brightness, and make sure Show Covers on Lock Screen is enabled. Try it again. Now that we have the main process out of the way, I want to mention a few extra tips and my recommendations. Create a Kindle collection. To keep things organized, you can create a Kindle collection and move all your screensaver books into this collection. This will make it easy to find and manage all your screensaver books in one place. 
using Calibre for best results. If you copy and paste the MOBI file directly into your Kindle instead of sending it via Calibre, the screensaver cover will work as expected. However, the cover may not show up in your Kindle library. To make sure the cover displays properly in both the screensaver and the Kindle's library, you must send the MOBI book using Calibre as explained in step four, consistent author naming. When creating multiple screensaver books, it's a good idea to give them the same author name. This helps keep them organized because Calibre will place all books with the same author name into one folder on your Kindle. It reduces clutter, makes it easier to separate your screensaver books from your other books, and simplifies deleting them if needed. Now that you know how to set up your screensavers, it's time to check out the new collection I've put together for you. I've created 20 black and white screensavers that I think you're going to love. You will find a great mix of stylish designs, fun phrases like just one more chapter, book lover, and there's no such thing as too many books, plus some cool graphics that look amazing on Kindle's ink display. They're completely free and you can download them using the link in the description below. Just pick your favorites, follow the steps we covered and enjoy a personalized Kindle experience. And here's a new challenge. If this video reaches 200 likes, I will create a part three with another 20 plus screensavers, this time with a team of your choice. Let me know in the comments what teams you'd like to see, whether it's fantasy, nature, motivational quotes, or something completely different. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Kindle tips and tricks, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next one. Happy reading. Bye bye.